in life and destiny. The reason you are seeing the battles you are seeing is because of what is ahead of you. Satan is not after your today. Your today is a consequential. Where do you live? Who are you? What do you know? Your today is not the reason for your battle. Is it consequential to Satan? Satan's anger is that he has an idea. He doesn't have a total blueprint. He has an idea of where you are going. So he doesn't know how. I've said this to you. Write it down. The devil has an idea of where you are going, but he doesn't know how you are going to get there. The devil has an idea of where you are going, but he doesn't know how you are going to get there. So he has an idea. So when he looks at you, he's seeing somebody who's going somewhere. But your today does not look, look like it. Why? The Bible says in John chapter 3 and verse 8, the wind bloweth where it listed. You cannot tell where it's coming or where it's going. So is every man that is born by the Spirit of God. So if you are born of the Spirit, you are unpredictable. Am I speaking to somebody here? The reason people look down on you today is because they think your future is on your face. It's because they think you are a definition of what you are going through. People despise you right now because they are looking at your current experience. They are looking at your current battle. They are looking at your current challenges. They do not understand that why we look not on the things which are seen, but on the things which are not seen. For the things which are seen are temporal, but the things we don't see are internal. People look down on you because they feel that your condition is your conclusion. They look down on Moses because they felt they knew everything about him, but they didn't know that it was unpredictable. The Bible tells us Moses Moses went to bed a murderer, but he woke up a deliverer. He was unpredictable. Joseph went to bed a prisoner, but he woke up a prime minister. Unpredictable. Nehemiah went to bed a bartender, but he woke up as the rebuilder of the world. Unpredictable. Esther went to bed as an orphan, but she woke up as the queen of the whole of the land of Babylon. Unpredictable. Peter was stranded as a fisherman, but he woke up as a fisher of men. Unpredictable. Predictable. The Bible tells us clearly, don't look down on yourself. Don't look down on the days of little beginning. Who has despised the days of little beginning? He shall see the plummet in the hand of Zerubbabel. Hear me and hear me well. I am unpredictable. There is something about me. My condition is not my conclusion. My condition is a transition into the place of my possession. My condition is a transition into the place of my possession. I am unpredictable. Don't look down on me now. I am unpredictable. There is something I want to tell you. Those that hate you now, in the next few months, they will regret it. Because there's a dimension of you that's about to be revealed. There's a dimension of you that's about to be unveiled. There's a dimension of you that's about to be espoused. Somebody shout, I am unpredictable. 